So prove that the set of algebraic numbers is a countable set. So we have the following fact that is going to be helpful in our proof. So to start, we're going to recall that if a complex number z is algebraic, this is uh, means that z is the root of a polynomial with integer coefficients. So there's a polynomial that looks like this. And if you plug z into it, you get 0. And all of the ai's are integers. So this is actually equivalent to saying that z is the root of a polynomial with rational coefficients, which uh, you can check. So both of those definitions are equivalent. So we want to use this to prove that a is countable. So we're going to define the following set. So for a non-negative integer n, we're going to define pn. This is going to be the set of all polynomials again with integer coefficients and with the property that n plus the absolute values of all of the coefficients is equal to big N. Okay, and we want to note that for each choice of n greater than or equal to 0, this is a finite set, right? And the reason that it's finite is because all of the AIs are integers. And so there's only finitely many choices for the AIs so that an expression like this holds. Um, because eventually the absolute value of the AIs is going to be too large. Okay, great. So we have these sets for each choice of n, they are finite. So now, want to define set Sn this is going to be the set of complex number z with the property that for some polynomial in the set Pn, z is a root of that polynomial. Okay, and so again, this is a finite set. The reason that uh, Sn is finite is because there's only finitely many polynomials in Pn, and each one of these polynomials has a finite number of complex number roots, right? Because if, uh, if I have a, a polynomial of degree n, then over the complex numbers, it only has n roots. Okay, so in particular, this means that the cardinality of Sn is less than infinity, or Sn is finite. But if you think about the algebra, uh, algebraic numbers, this is really just the union over all of the uh, non-negative integers n of the sets Sn. Um, you know, because if you have an algebraic number, it's definitely the root of uh, some polynomial with integer coefficients. So it definitely belongs to one of the Sn. And then each of the Sn is a subset of the algebraic numbers because the Sn only contain complex numbers that are the roots of integer polynomials. And so this equality is true. But now notice that this is a countable union of countable sets. Uh, in fact, each of the Sn's is a finite set, and so that means that the algebraic numbers are countable.